Millions of pensioners will pocket an extra £900 a year as an 8.5% increase in the state pension comes into force today. The government have billed the rise as one of a number of measures aimed at backing Britain's pensioners, despite several high-profile Tories calling time on the current triple lock system. Well, Worker Pension Secretary Mel Stride joins us live from Westminster. So, you yourself have said that the triple lock isn't sustainable. Does that effectively mean we can't keep it? Well, I was very explicit, actually, Kate, as a sort of part quote, I think. I actually said in the very, very long term, by which I meant uh, a number of parliaments uh, uh, hence. Um, but, of course, it's uh, sustainable, and uh, as Ed will be very familiar with, the, all of these uh, uh, elements of, uh, you know, fiscal elements are all wrapped up within the OBR's forecast and meet uh, the fiscal targets at that time, as indeed uh, these measures do as well. But, look, the important thing is... 8.5% as of today increase for uh, our pensioners. Uh, inflation down at 3.4% due to our economic plan, so it's well above inflation. And this 8.5% increase comes on top of the 10.1% increase that we delivered to pensioners just a year ago. So we are absolutely committed to the triple lock, not just now, but also into the next parliament because we mm. recognise that we should be supporting our pensioners. It's obviously good for pensioners um, who are going to receive this increase, but it's a bit surprising that you are kind of um, saying it's a good thing. I mean, it was a mistake, wasn't it? Well, the, what, the triple lock being a, a No, the, the, the fact that inflation was so high um, that you ended up giving 10.1% and 8.5% increases. I mean, it was supposed to be much lower, wasn't it? Well, it's not a question of whether it's supposed to or not. It's simply the way the triple lock works and the, the reference point that's used for inflation, which is the September preceding the uh, April uh, increase. And that is a situation where, you're right, it may swing around, but in the long term, of course, these ups and downs uh, iron themselves uh, out. But the bottom line with the triple lock, Ed, is that we, as a Conservative government, I'm very proud of this, brought this in several years ago. It means that today pensioners are actually getting £1,000 more per year than had their pension just simply be going up by earnings alone. And if you contrast that to under the last Labour government, where we had a 75p uh, increase uh, in the pension under Gordon Brown, and you'll uh, remember that, we had the fourth highest level of pensioner poverty uh, in Europe, we now have 200,000 fewer pensioners in poverty in the UK as a consequence, amongst other, other measures, of the triple lock. So I'm very proud that we're doing that to support our pensioners. Can I just ask you another question about um, pensioners? We have a lot of our viewers who are known as WASPy women, uh, women who were born in the 1950s um, who were expecting to see um, the retirement age um, increased um, during their lifetimes, but then that was brought forward um, 10 years ago by George Osborne. The Ombudsman has said this was unfair, they weren't given time to prepare and they should be compensated by one to £3,000 each. Are you going to make a statement to the House of Commons on that Ombudsman report and will you be going ahead with the, um, the, the recommendation that they should be compensated? Well, uh, Ed, I, I already have made a statement, an oral statement to the House of Commons. I gave it on the Monday following the publishing uh, of that report, which I think was on the Thursday. So I gave it at the earliest opportunity at the dispatch box. I took an hour and a half of questions from colleagues right across the House of Commons. So there's been no, um, uh, nothing slow about the way in which I've reacted to that report. But look, this report took uh, five years uh, in the making. Uh, it covers a lot of very complex issues. You refer to the changes under George Osborne. In fact, the recommendation the Osborne Ombudsman makes that uh, in his opinion, should uh, result in compensation relates to the period of 2005 to 2007. Uh, and the Act, of course, that brought in the original changes goes back to 1995, so 30 years ago. So this has been playing out under governments of all colours. What matters now is that I look very closely at the report, at the evidence, before we come to uh, firm conclusions. And, of course, just as I did when the report came out, I will, of course, go to the House at the earliest opportunity to... So the question I was asking is, when decision. are you going to yeah. tell the WASPy women whether they'll get the compensation? When will that happen? So will it be, what, will it be next I, week? Well, uh, what, what I've said, Ed, is that... And I said this uh, on the floor of the House, uh, is that there'll be no undue delay in us coming forward, but I do want to have 
sufficient time. There are very strong feelings about this on all sides of the argument, incidentally, of course. Uh, as to whether compensation should be paid uh, or not. And I do want to make sure that we get that judgment call right. And the Ombudsman, Ombudsman of course, has also uh, invited Parliament to be part of that process. But there's but clearly been undue delay in the case of can. the postmasters and postmistresses, and there's been undue delay in the case, in the case of, um, bl of, of contaminated blood. And I think the WASPy women will think they've been waiting quite a long time. And I just wondered, will it be in, um, in April? Well, I, I'm not going to get tied down, Ed, for the reasons I've given to a specific moment in time. Right. But just to reassure, as I did to the House of Commons, at the earliest possible opportunity... So there'll be delay, we... but it may not be undue. Well, well, undue delay means if one were deliberately, um, you know, spending time that was not necessary in considering something. And I'm just saying that won't be happening. We will look at this very uh, carefully. But, but it'll be the before the election. Thing, the mo well, the most important thing. I'm not going, you know, I'm not going to get drawn into a specific uh, time frame. But I, but I am making that very clear that this is a serious matter. I take it very seriously. I appeared before the House of Commons at the earliest opportunity and I will be back before the House of Commons... So there will be a delay. Uh, ..when there's something to say. There will uh, be a delay. No, no, the, the, the delay is a pejorative term, as you know. What, 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 what it really is is not delay. It, it, it's proper time to consider a very complex report. Mel Stride, thank you very much indeed for being with us this morning. Thank you.